Hey y'all, I'm the old man, and this is another Music Vault vlog. I couldn't talk for a second because I started recording. Um, this is the CD pickups for August? Yeah, it's August, so that's what these would be. Um, got a nice stack of CDs here, uh, so let's get started. First one is the next CD in the Genesis uh, project, and it is the self-titled Glare. Genesis, self-titled album from 1983, with shapes, sort of blocks on the cover for some reason. I've listened to this once. This is this month. What's this is September's? Not this month. This is nursery crime. Anyway, uh, listened to it once. It's okay. Uh, my initial uh, thoughts about it, like when I looked at the track list for the first time, I remember this like as doctor's office music, like going with my mom to the doctor's office. Uh, when I was a kid, like, That's All, that's the, the song That's All, would would be playing, and I, that's what I remember, and so, it's <laughs> Dr. Zomp's music. Um, I've listened to it once, it's okay, uh, kind of like Abacab, where I just, I don't really have any thoughts. Like, Abacab was good, but I didn't really have a lot to say about it. I don't know how that this is going to end up, but I, I, I've got more work to do. A um, few more listens, it usually takes me at least three listens at least three to really get something and so it's the first time first listen so it's what are you gonna do second one the other genesis cd this is for october's genesis cd and it's wind and wuthering um i'm looking forward to this one because uh, i really really like trick of the tail this is their second album after uh peter gabriel left and um so I'm looking forward to it. I really, really like Trick of the Tail. I can't imagine that this is going to be bad. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, definitely. Um, not much to say because I haven't listened to it yet. You see how there's the bookcase there? We, we moved the bookcase because we're having another baby and I had to move all our books out of the one room and into this. So now it looks like civilized people live here. That Civilized people that read books live here. Next one. Cool little CD. I'm not even really sure why I bought it. Um, it's Jelly Jam, Profit, Profit, prof, Profit, not Profit, Profit. <laughs> um, this is a side project of Ty Tabor from King's X and John Myung of, I thought that's how you pronounce his last name, Dream Theater and some dude whose name escapes me and I'm too lazy to look up. Um, and they've done, I think this is their fourth album. Uh, I have two. I've listened to two, and it's all right. I, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I'm not sure why I got this one, but I'm on my third listen, finally. And um, this one might actually be kind of a dark horse. Because the first listen, I was just like, yeah, it's a, you know, it's like, all right. And then the second one was, oh, well, yeah. And then the third listen, I was like, oh, yeah, this is actually really good. And so uh, this, it's definitely a grower, and... So I'm, I I'm, want to listen to this a few more times, because the third listen, I'm time, trying, finally starting to twig onto it. Um, but it, and uh, my friend, uh, Jason, he uh, got this one, and initially, I think it was his reaction, too, is he, he didn't like it initially, and then it grew on him. So it's, it's so far, it's a grower. Looking forward to listening to this one more. Next one is just a random classic thrash album that I picked up I owned for a while uh, Testament practice what you preach I actually owned this for a while back in the day when we had um, Lala the CD trading website where you like list all your CDs that you want to trade and then they other people would them and then they hook the site would hook up trades um, which was good for six months when I joined it and then it just sort of went in the toilet Mostly because the flaw in it is that people want good CDs, they don't want bad CDs. So there's definitely a lot of bad CDs and not nearly as many good CDs in the pool. Um, so that was, and that just sort of trickled out and I stopped using it. But Testament, Frank Switch Breeds, I got it originally from that. I don't know why I got rid of it. Um, and I've never been a huge Testament fan. Uh, I don't know why, but... Uh, I like Practice What You Preach. That's good riffs, good songs. Um, maybe I'll get into them some more. I don't know. Uh, kind of, they were kind of the B team of thrash 
along with like Death Angel and Exodus and who else would be on that? Suicidal Tendencies, maybe? I don't know. In the comments, list the B team, the big of uh, the big four B team of Thrash. That's your homework. Next uh, CD is Audio Adrenaline Bloom. Uh, not really sure why I got this one, other than I noticed that I didn't have it, and I'm like, I remembered it being good, and so I bought it. Um, this is their third album uh, after "Don't Censor Me." The al this is the album where they decided they were actually going to be mu be musicians instead of like a Christian band. <laughs> Not that uh, not that Don't Censor Me wasn't wasn't good because I actually really enjoyed Don't Censor Me, uh, but this one is like where the okay let's actually write like real good songs and so they did and Bloom is definitely shows a lot of maturity and a lot of uh, was that a fly did, we, did you see the fly? Uh, it's summer in the South so we get flies. Anyway, <laughs> got a cover of Free Ride and I can't remember who does that originally, but it's a really good album. I really I, I really like this one too. Uh, and I'm glad I got one for the vault. Definitely worth your time if you're into audio adrenaline. I, and like I said, I like Don't Censor Me. Their first album, though, was awful. Do not don't even bother with their first album. There's two songs that are good on it. DC-10 and My God, that's it. And even those are, like, novelty songs. So just skip ahead to Don't Censor Me. You might not like that either. But this one, this one's pretty good. Last album for the month is another reissue from Clayton. Um, and this is... And I've owned this one like three or four times. I don't know why I got rid of it. But this is the re-release of Misguided from Argyle Park. Cool new cover art, I have to say. I have to say they're doing a great job on the cover art for the most part. Redoing the cover art, which is really important. If you're going to mess with the cover art, it needs to be better. It needs to be much better. And uh, so Misguided, I, it came, originally came out in Rex Records, I think 1995. And then was, I think it was reissued. I want to say somebody reissued it, like Retroactive. It's a friggin' fly again. Somebody else reissued it. Uh, I think Retroactive. I'm not sure, but somebody reissued it. Now Clayton's reissuing it. And uh, it's, got, it's got three CDs of material. Three. The, uh, the last CD is mostly uh, instrumental mixes. Second CD has some, actually some... New, a new song on it called Fanny Pack with uh, Mark Solomon from The Crucified doing vocals on it. It's pretty catchy. It's kind of, it's, it's tongue-in-cheek, kind of silly, but I, I really like it. Uh, it has a track called The Communist Masters of Deceit, which is actually the, um, the Drive He Said mix from the Steve Taylor tribute, only with all the Steve Taylor bits cut out and some other samples in, but it's basically that song just rearranged and without Steve Taylor in it. And then there's Lonely, which is a <laughs> Striper cover of all things that was on some Striper tribute album that was the strangest tribute album ever because it had like, it had Argyle Park and Clank and like Steve Hindelong from the choir and uh, who else? Just weird, like um, The Blamed and just nobody, nobody metal was on that tribute. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking with that tribute. I, I, I'm actually. I'm maybe I'm fixing to hunt down a copy and get it because it's so weird. It was so weird. Anyway, Argyle Park, excellent album. If you haven't heard it, uh, definitely go get you a copy. It was really. It was kind of um, got some criticism in the Christian community because it was so negative and, and kind of dark. And people were like, why are you saying, saying Jesus enough? Like, that matters. Um, and so and I think that was, uh, some of that was, uh, uh, didn't help Clayton with his, his um, thoughts on the Christian music scene. Anyway, good CD. Three, uh, three CDs is good. Um, and that's it. That's it for this month. That's what's going to be coming up on the website, the Music Vault uh you can find it at adamipodreviews.blogspot.com. It doesn't say Music Vault because I recently just changed it, the title of it, and I don't know how to change it, the, the actual like address of the blog. And I don't necessarily want to because I've been doing that for five or six years. But Music Vault, adamipodreviews.blogspot.com. You can find me at uh, Twitter at the old man 2084 You can find me on YouTube doing video game stuff uh, at uh, the old man 2084 um, also on Twitch, the old man 2084, but I haven't done anything on Twitch in a while because I haven't had time because we suddenly realized we were having another baby and then everything broke in the house. 
the TV, the lawnmower, <laughs> the tire on my wife's car. Everything broke at the same time, so I haven't had time to do any of that sort of stuff. Um, but go on, just you know, look at the look at the music vault, and uh, there's something for everybody on there. And I'll see you next time. I'm planning on doing a video about what I look for in a reissue. And it's been in the back of my mind and I just haven't got around to it. Someday I'll, I'll get around to it someday. Um, but I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Going to be doing some more of these vlogs. I don't, I don't know the schedule of them. Uh, the Let's Play schedule is usually Sunday is my challenge run day. Um, Tuesday and then Friday. So if you like video games, check that out. If you're just here for the music, another one's coming probably in another two or three weeks. I don't know, but I will see you then and thank you for watching.